So I'm Dan Wernickoff. I'm the GM of the small business group at Intuit, and I've been at Intuit for 13 years. Yeah, a lot of small business owners are starting to think more and more about how they can use technology in different ways. Um, so you see them, obviously, with their mobile device. Uh, they're thinking more and more about how they can transact with their customers and look more professional. But one of the things that I think is always the most interesting thing about small businesses is they're all kind of unique. You know, they, you go in and you visit them, and the first thing they say is, well, I don't know why you're here to visit me. I'm, I'm kind of like a different type of business than you guys probably are used to. And so, you know, a lot of their challenges are more about how they run their individual business. We like, to, we like to say that small businesses are like snowflakes. I mean, they're, every one of them is completely different from the other. Yeah, the QuickBooks customer base has evolved, and it really depends on which platform you're talking about as well. So, you know, we have a desktop customer base, which is a little bit more mature, um, a little bit bigger business, um, a little bit more product-centric. Um, but then you have an online business, and that's where we're starting to see a lot more of the millennials, like the younger businesses, um, businesses that are a little bit more services based and they have more unique patterns. It's not like um, they have an established workflow as a business. It's almost as if they're starting from scratch because they're earlier in their life cycle and they're trying to figure out how they can run their business most efficiently. Most of them didn't think that they were going to have to do anything in the back office when they started their business. Most just felt like I'm a craftsman so I'm going to do my craft or you know, I, I bake so I'm going to bake. And then they kind of get there and they realize, actually, I'm going to bake, but I'm also going to sit in the back office and understand what ingredients I have to buy. And I'm going to think about how I mix them. And I'm going to understand what my customers are doing and where they are and how many of them need to reorder. And so there's just a lot of things that you, know, you didn't expect to do when you became a business that all of a sudden become the core of, of who your business is. Yeah, Method's a great company for us because I, one of the things that I, I was looking at before I came here today is the number one search term in our app store is CRM. And actually, when you talk to small businesses, um, small businesses will tell you that QuickBooks is their CRM solution and it stinks because it wasn't designed to do it. And they kind of bend it in different ways and try to get it to work. And the core of what most small businesses need to do with QuickBooks data is serve their customers well. And so partnerships like Method are extremely important to us. Um, and CRM is obviously just the beginning of what, what Method can do. Um, it really gets more to how do you customize and configure the product and do it in a way which honors the fact that most of that data has to get back into QuickBooks. You know, one of the things I was excited about with Method is when they won our app competition and decided to do a donor management solution because, again, donor management is a verticalized component of CRM. You know, it really is just another, um, another cut of a specific industry that needs to understand their donors, which are essentially their clients. And so it just shows the power of what, if you build an extensible platform like Method has, um, and then you connect it to an extensible platform like QuickBooks, you can pretty much solve every problem there is out there.